I feel like we start every vlog right in this spot. <laughs> every vlog I feel like for the past two months, we're like, we're sick, we're not sick. I'm sick again. How is this happening? Um, I tested, everything's negative, but like it's just all right here in my nose. And this is the first time you're not sick. I actually feel <laughs> But anyway, we are on our way to another doctor's appointment. I'm officially in the one week. Every week we go. One so, week? No, like not in the one week mark of giving oh, birth. Okay. I get birth in three was, weeks. Okay. I was like, uh, <laughs> but um, I go to the doctors every week now. So um, yeah, we're almost there. We're not running late. Someone commented and was like, every video you guys are running late. You need to value people's time. Trust me, I hate being late. Josh does too. But like when you have a toddler and you're pregnant and you can't breathe 90% of the time, it's really hard. So, but this is the first appointment where I think they're doing an internal check. So we'll see, I guess if I'm, I don't think I'm dilating yet. I'm still early, but like, we'll see. <laughs> Well, appointment went good. Appointment went great. They're so fast. There's really not much. Luckily, this pregnancy has been super easy. Yeah, and what we did, a uh, quick little swab for strep. <laughs> I um, think that's what it is. Uh, it's totally normal. He said a lot of women at this stage uh, come back about 25% of women come back positive for this um, And if so, we'll get you on an antibiotic uh, Something, you know, we gave her a nice little scrub uh, to, <laughs> Yeah, to help I, prevent infection. I got um, my surgical scrub. It's getting real. It's getting real and you just want to be careful You just want to get this in the area. They're gonna be doing the surgery You don't want to get it near your private parts or anything <laughs> like that because it will dry you out So um, we'll just be uh, strategic on that. I didn't get to use this with poppy because I had like an emergency c-section but i used it after right yeah, to he yeah, for yeah. my my scar so boy. um yeah we got this on hand three weeks three weeks and he was like oh i feel a butt mm -hmm. nice I, I was like yeah i thought he was transverse he's like no there's just like there's he's, no room yeah no room he's twisting turning he's doing all kinds of stuff i should so. have asked him like how do we know how big he is we're about to find out in three weeks Abby. i know i know but i'm like just curious let's guess the weight um, I think we tried this before, but I think he's gonna guess? be bigger than Poppy. I think he's gonna be like eight something. I'm going eight pounds, two ounces. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say eight, just eight. Okay. Eight pounds. All right, you heard it here first. Eight point two pounds. Eight. But eight. I, I might change. I might nope, change. No, this is it. And winner gets three, three grand. What are we done? I just come up with three thousand dollars. What do you need? That's three thousand um, dollars. Saving up for a cold plunge. Okay. Okay. But we are actually here picking up a little gift. Is this gonna be for baby Jay one day? So we're about to pick up my Jay necklace. A little story behind this. Uh, my grandfather wore a Jay necklace like this one. And I've always loved it, but it was promised to my eldest cousin, uh, who has a J name as well. So when he passed away, my cousin got it. My grandma got me a J one made to look just like it, but this thing was giant. It was, it was huge. <laughs> it, was like, it was literally like a chain. Um, I like never wore because it, it was just huge. So I had it uh, cut down and I actually went even further. I put his picture in Photoshop, traced it, got the original font that his was because mine was different and we replicated it. And it's going to be so cool. I can't wait to see it. And uh, that's going to be awesome. And it's going to be a little heirloom for baby Jay. An heirloom. Heirloom to pass down. And then we got to figure out something for Poppy because yeah. <laughs> We don't have anything for her. We just have some costume jewelry for her, which is fine. So <laughs> let's go in and grab it. All right, let's go. And if you wanted, Tyler Scott, how are you? Good, how's it going? Good, man. Cool. Looks great. That thing is huge. It's yeah. so <laughs> big. Dude, I've been right, exactly. That. <laughs> and yeah. Like you can see it from this angle how big yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be perfect. Enormous. Yeah. And this uh this is good size for that. The chain. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, I put it. Oh, is that the original chain? This is the original. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, it looks good. Oh, it's it's shining. Yeah. You can literally see it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really feels way better now, not like this. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, hold that one up next to it when it's on so they can <laughs> Yeah, that difference. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Classic. And so that's what I blew up his hairy chest and <laughs> threw it in Photoshop. That's so. hilarious. All right, guys, it is. <clears throat> oh my God. <clears throat> this is part of pregnancy. I've been so congested, and everyone's like, yeah, I, this happened to me the third trimester, like the last couple weeks, but like, what is this? But hopefully, I can get through this without sounding crazy. So it is March 1st which means it is baby month. Not even like baby month, like he comes in like 
12 days. Ugh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta think for a second. 12 days. Okay, maybe I'm not ready to film this. <laughs> All right, let me compose myself because it's like really hitting me. So I have the house to myself right now. Poppy is at Cece's house. Josh is outside doing things. And I was just like sitting here thinking and I was like, I haven't really talked about this on YouTube. I kind of talked about it a little bit on TikTok and I've made videos about it. This has been my number one question or like people just not understanding. So I thought I would just sit down and like explain why I'm doing this and why this is happening and what's going on because he will be in this world in my hands in like 12 days or sooner. So um, I feel like now's the time to talk about it. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I knew nothing about this topic before it was my only option with Poppy. So I'm gonna start back at my first pregnancy with Poppy. So if you were not aware, Poppy was transverse. I've talked about this many times. She was sideways. So she was not head down, she was sideways. and. I never thought about giving birth ever throughout my pregnancy. I just thought like, oh, you just have a vaginal birth. That's what you do. Like I never once thought about a C-section or any other way than a vaginal birth, but like I also wasn't thinking about it because I didn't want to stress myself out. So I just really honestly never thought about birth. And I was getting ultrasounds all the time because I just wanted to see the baby. I wanted to see Poppy. So around 30 weeks, I got like a 3D ultrasound of Poppy. And I'm really good friends with the, the ultrasound tech. It's not at a hospital. Like this is like something like I just went and did. She was like, hey, like has your doctor like talked about like the position of the baby? And I was like, no, why? And she's like, she's still transverse or breach or whatever. And I was like, oh. Wow, okay, but like she couldn't like, she's not my doctor, so she couldn't give me anything, but I'm so glad she told me. So I brought it up to my doctor again, and they did the heartbeat and they're like, nope, she's head down. So I was like, oh, okay, she must have flipped. And me being crazy, I went back to the, the ultrasound tech. I was like, something still just doesn't feel right. Can we do another ultrasound? And she did, and she's like, she's still sideways. And this was, I was maybe, like 35, 34, 35-ish weeks. And I had another doctor's appointment and it was with a new doctor, like, cause I had to see different doctors throughout the practice. And this doctor, I brought it up to her. I was like, I think she's still transverse. I just went yesterday. And she was like, okay, let's do an ultrasound here. And I was like, okay, great. Very calm. She's like, not concerned. She thought the same thing. She's like, I think she's head down. She does the ultrasound. She goes, oh yeah, she is transverse. And I was saying like, breach transverse, and she explained how there are two different things, breach and transverse. Breach, I think the head's up here. I'm not really sure. All I know is she was transverse. So I'm sitting there like, okay, she's transverse, like now what? And she was very calm. And she's like, okay, here's your two options. I'm like, oh, okay, two options. She's like, you can schedule a C-section today. And I was like, oh, like I can't give birth vaginally. She was like, with transverse and how it is, like, no, like you can't, but the baby could still flip. That was like always a thing, the baby could still flip. But if I would go into labor and she was transverse, I had to have a C-section. So she was like, you can schedule one, have it scheduled and we can go from there. Or you can do the virgin where they manually try to flip the baby. I was stressed, to be honest, I was really stressed. I literally cried almost like every day and I'm not a crier, but I was so nervous because I was like, what should my decision? Do I try the version to, to potentially flip her and then I can have a vaginal birth or do I just schedule the C-section and if she flips on her own, she flips on her own. I was like torn up and literally cried every day because I was like, I don't know if I'm making the right decision. And after just like doing some research and consulting with other people, I was like, you know what? Let's give the version a try. And unfortunately, it did not work. I have a YouTube video on it. Um, obviously, that would be like two years ago, I think we posted it, because um, we posted after I did it. It was unsuccessful. I'm glad I did it, I'm glad we tried it, but she was just stuck. She was stuck sideways. My only option left was scheduling the C-section, hoping that she would flip before. Like literally, my doctor was like, you could walk into your C-section and if she's head down, we can change plans. Like we don't, you don't have to do this if she's head down. Um, unfortunately, that's not how it worked out for me. My C-section with Poppy was scheduled for May 19th and I went into active labor on May 11th. I went to triage, if you guys remember, like five times. I had fluid leaking, I was like, I'm giving birth and every time they're like, no, you're fine, they, they sent me home. Um, but I think the version kind of kick-started labor a little bit because 
I had the version on May 1st, May 1st or May 2nd, and literally gave birth May 11th. So I really think that kind of helped speed up the process, but I could be wrong. But if we're being honest, I never really stressed about a C-section just because that was like my only option. I was like, I can't give birth to this baby the way she is positioned. So I couldn't like wrap my mind around a vaginal birth. I just kind of had to like put that to the side and focus on a C-section. And I'm the type of person that I couldn't look too much into it because I didn't want to stress myself out. But I'll be honest, I was nervous. Like C-sections, a surgery, a major surgery, you're getting cut open. And I know vaginal birth still has its scary moments as well, but with a C-section, I don't know, I was, I was just stressed. And like I said, I had the scheduled C-section May 19th and then I went into labor. So it was a very fast process. Like I called my doctor, she's like, yeah, you sound like you're in active labor, get to the hospital. I got to the hospital at like 9 a.m. and Poppy was born at 11, so it was like, they checked me in, they got me on the monitors, they got Josh prepped, they got the the OR prepped or whatever you call it, the, the room prepped and it was all very fast. So I think that was actually probably helpful in a way because I didn't have time to think and I didn't have time to like worry. It was just like, let's get this baby out. She was healthy, her heart rate was good, but it was like, let's speed up the process because I was like dilating, my water broke and I had an amazing C-section experience. I mean, obviously I had the body shakes, the, you know, the spinal and a little out of it, but like, I really cannot complain. But it's also the only thing I know. I don't know what it is to experience a vaginal birth. I only know C-section and I had a great experience. I had a C-section with Poppy. I had to have one. It was not my choice, but everything went as planned and as perfect as it could go. So then I get pregnant with baby number two. Everyone's asking me, are you doing a V-back, 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 this whole, V back and I was like, I don't know. I literally was like, I have no feeling towards anything, which V back is vaginal birth after cesarean or after C-section. You know, after talking with my doctor, after consulting with Josh and family, I was like, I kind of want a C-section. Like I kind of just want to do what I already know and that is a C-section. And honestly, I didn't think anything of it. I made a video saying that I'm choosing to have a C-section. It was like, I mean, I have no words to explain the messages I was getting and everyone freaking out, wondering why, like, why did I choose this? Why would I choose a C-section? How crazy is that? And like, it was a lot of like negative feedback. And I was like, wow, like, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, I'm just doing what I know. And that's a C-section. And honestly, my C-section wasn't even two years ago. And they tell you to wait to get pregnant. Like, I remember I wanted to be pregnant like, when Poppy was like six months old and I thought I had a little scare, I thought I was pregnant, not a scare, but like I thought I was pregnant and my doctor was really like, hey, I know you're excited, but like, please wait a full year so your body heals. Like there's just different things when vaginal and C-section healing. I don't know all the facts, so I don't wanna say anything or like I don't wanna give out misinformation, but I just know they highly recommend you waiting like a year or more after a C-section. And my C-section will be two years ago in May. So Poppy turned one and then I found out I was pregnant like two months later. It was definitely just like a process and you know, there's pros and cons to both. You cannot go wrong with doing a V-back or a C-section, but for me, the pros just looked better as a C-section. And I just never thought I would be like sitting here making this video, but then after all the feedback I got, and then there wasn't just all negative, I got a lot of positives where they were like, yep, two time, three time C-section mom here. I chose it after my first one. And I was like, thank you. Like I thought I was like, I'm like, am I making the wrong decision? Like, am I being crazy? But I had a lot of people that have experienced the same thing that I'm going through as well. So that made me feel comfortable. And that made me want to like talk about this more and be like, it's not bad to choose to have a C-section. My biggest fear is trying for a V-back, like a vaginal birth having to have an emergency C-section because something happened, my uterus, I don't know, like uterus can explode or I don't know, I'm being dramatic, but like something just happening or like him not fitting and or tearing or, or him getting stuck or I don't know. For me, I'm like, why try when I could just have the C-section? And I know that's so weird to say, but I don't need to give an excuse, but um, that was my, that's honestly my reasoning. I'm like, I don't wanna try for a vaginal go through labor, go through all this, and then have to have an emergency C-section or, you know, 
I don't know. There's so many things that can happen, but um, yeah, I think for me and my experience is just going with what I know, and that is a C-section. And like I said, I, I know a C-section. Josh knows a C-section. Like We know the process, and there were some cons to having a VBAC of me just freshly having a C-section a year ago. So I don't know, just for me, I just wanted to go this route. And I really wish I had like more details to give you, but it's really not like, and you shouldn't have to justify how you want to give birth. If you want to give birth at home, if you want to give birth in your bed, if you want to go to the hospital, if you don't want, if you want to do a midwife, if you don't want doctors, if unmedicated, like there's so many ways to give birth, but I don't know why C-section for me, at least what I've experienced and the feedback I've received has been so negative and so like, I, I don't know. That's just how I feel. Maybe, maybe I'm just taking it all in. There can be pros and cons to it any way of giving birth. I think in my mind, I'm just looking at it as the positive and that is what we're gonna do. So yeah, we have a scheduled C-section March 13th. Like I said, is in a couple days, which is literally mind blowing. And I really think I'm just gonna walk in there calm and we're prepped, we know what to expect, we know what to experience. Um, so yeah, I hope this all made sense. And you can go back, um, watch the birth story of Poppy. You can We talk about the C-section, we talk about the version. Cause I know there's a lot of people also reached out and was like, well, how was your C-section? Or I'm considering a C-section, can you explain? So I think it's just good to just talk about it, get this out there, it's normal. You give birth, any way you give birth should be the best way that you want to give birth and there's no right or wrong answer, so. Um, yeah, it's wild. This mom is gonna be gone in like 12 days. And you know, I could have this whole birth plan figured out and it could change in a second. Oh, look who made it back just in time. <laughs> Come on in, if I can scooch you over. <laughs> so how do you feel about C-section? I'm excited, <laughs> uh, nervous, worried, the happy. Yeah. Uh, it's all the emotions in one. Uh, I think going into it, having experienced it with Poppy, it lessens those nerves a little bit. They're still there. And that's what I was trying to explain. Like, it's kind of what we know and that's why we chose it. There's no mm. right or wrong answer. Uh, that being said, we have to go pick Poppy up. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> and uh, we got a lot to do. So thank you guys so much. We love you. We'll see you next time. See you guys next time. He'll be here next time, potentially. Yes. Oh my God, oh my God, this is crazy. We'll see you at the hospital. Oh God. Bye -bye. <sighs>